Hello everybody, welcome back to Primus Tech. This is your host Primus. We've been gone for about a month, a little bit more actually. Anyway, we're going to be going through an install of Windows 98 Second Edition. And this is not a fresh install. As a matter of course, this is me fixing a dual boot of Windows 98 Second Edition and Windows XP. As you see, I've got my Windows 98 boot disk in, as well as my Windows 98 Second Edition CD. And we went into boot from CD, and we started with the MS-DOS prompt from the CD. We go to our D drive, and we go into our Windows 98 uh, directory on the CD and we format our C drive as you see we'll go on ahead and fast forward through that um, and while we're fast forwarding through that anyway um, we have a couple of seconds here we are going to be copying on to, we're going to be creating a directory on our C drive and then we're going to be copying uh, the contents of the Windows 98 directory from the CD to the new directory we, cre we create on C drive and we're going to be running the install from there. This serves multiple purposes in the fact that it allows us to install from the drive that way later on when we come across the need for the Windows 98 CD when installing drivers or updating we don't have to find our CD and put it into the CD drive it'll just read off the disk as you see I have a problem here with it reading and that is because the CD has to spin up again that was sped up 32 times the format or maybe even 64 Anyway, we got a speed. Uh, we sped up the copying of the files as well. That was 32 times, and now we're going to start our install from the. We're going to switch over to the C drive, and then switch to the Windows 98 directory that we copied everything to using the command copy dot c colon forward slash Windows 98. And that'll copy all your files from your Windows 98 directory on your CD to your Windows 98 directory on your C drive. As you see, we got a bit of a stall here while I most likely try to set something up as I'm <coughs> recording the audio post re, uh, video recording. Anyway, here we go. We're going to the Windows 98 directory and we're hitting set up it'll go through its scan which this should take no time at all this is real time right here and then we'll get into the setup now coming into the setup you'll you really only need your keyboard a mouse makes it easier most mostly the PS2 type you want to have PS2 support for this simply because Windows has generic drivers included for that whereas it doesn't have generic drivers included for USB as far as I remember or most of them aren't supported anyway if you got a later motherboard and what we're doing here is we're using the setup instructions for VMware where we don't expand on the accessibility options we skipped over over to multi-language support and we didn't do web TV for Windows we name our computer in this case I'm naming it Primus 98 PC most likely I don't really recall and well that's what I did I left the work group as work group and then in the computer description I did the same thing this is because later on we're going to be setting up network support I skipped making a set startup disk because I already have one and at this point I've removed the CD 
out of the CD drive and the floppy disk out of the A drive, the 3.5 diskette. And now we fast forward through the actual copying of the files. We restart our computer and here we go through our boot up. As you see I have 512 megs of RAM which is the maximum you can have on an initial install of Windows 98. Later you can change the setup, the system settings to allow you more RAM, which I'll give you the link to that in the description of the video. And for our user information, I'm going to put in my tag, Primus. And I'm going to put in the channel name, Primus Tech. And I'll bring up the sensor bar because I do have a legitimate copy of Windows 98. Thank goodness for goodwill. And I put in the key, which takes a bit of a time to type in. But we get to our uh, putting it in right now. Anyhow. As I mentioned before, I'm going off of a setup guide for a virtual machine in VMware. There is a point where we diverge from the setup that they suggest. And that has to do with the fact that one of the tools, AutoDetects, already installed updates. And the other tool doesn't. And what we're trying to do is create as complete of an environment as we can that is as true to Windows 98 as updated as we possibly can get it because the further away from the time period that you get like the Pentium 3's and the early Athlons um, the K2's and K3's the further away from that you get the more problems you run into. There will be a point on here where you will see that I have to go through a disk check and that's because the system hangs. If you follow the instructions as I do going through this you should have only a minimum problem with that. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, i am got a little bit of a sinus allergy going on anyway what we're looking at is we set up and then when we come in after this hardware detection we're going to be setting up our virtual memory as well as our our um, logon type and the reason for that is is it allows us to get through the boot process quicker i.e. we don't need to um, interact with it at least the way I set it up we don't have to um, at this point it's detecting non plug and play hardware that it has generic drivers for and or maybe the doesn't have drivers for it that's what makes it non plug and play but it will have a very generic driver for its operation um, at this point we've got our time and date set up you'll notice that the year is only two date 19 and that's most likely because they weren't really looking for people to be using Windows 98 in 2019. Um, you can see I'm fast forwarding through it. We've got our system settings coming up. Um, and it reboots. And here, as you see, I don't put in a password. It's detecting my monitor and as I don't have Windows 98 support drivers for the monitor that I'm currently using it'll just give it a generic monitor file a monitor generic monitor driver um, and then at this point it's doing its setup for the desktop 
coming in, you'll be greeted by the Windows 98 splash screen, which I personally disable. Again, it speeds up the boot time and makes it so that we don't have to interact. The first thing we're going to do once we get get through this is we are going to I believe we change our login type in our virtual memory we don't want the computer to manage it and that is because the the management of virtual memory on hard drives that are larger than I believe 16 gigs is weird as you will see it's in the future it's notated um, I'm looking over at uh, most likely the stalling is me looking over at uh, this page right here which I'll link to in my description either that or I'll copy the majority of it and I'll eventually get it up on my web page however we switch to Windows logon which is by right clicking network neighborhood on a desktop going to the properties in the pop-up menu and then configuration it says save point one we don't have that option since we're not in a virtual machine so this will be the first point where you potentially meet a hurdle um, and that will come from a possibly bad network driver of some form anyway there you go you've got your windows log on you hit ok and it'll tell you it needs to reboot there you go so you get your you go through your reboot which isn't a full reboot it's just a reloading of windows which this seems to be the only time windows really does that i have no idea why but I'm not really going to look it up either. If you're interested in it, you can. I just know that's what it does. Um, at this point, some virtual machines will hang. Um, some computers will even hang. Even if they have hardware support, it's just, it's finicky like that. It's old.